When a passenger in a mobility aid wishes to board your bus, there are many different procedures you need to follow depending on the type of bus and restraint system employed. It's important to prepare the securement equipment before the customer boards the bus. For each mobility aid station, you must have four floor anchor fittings with retractors and J-hooks, one two-piece lap belt assembly, one retractable shoulder belt assembly, and four webbing loops. Inspect all hardware, mounting connectors and belts to ensure they are clean and undamaged. The retractors should all operate freely. Remove and attach the retractors to the anchor points and ensure the J-hooks are within reach. Remove the seatbelt assembly from the pouch and assemble it. Attach the shoulder harness to the seatbelt assembly. If there is pedestrian traffic around your bus, you deploy the ramp using the controls on the exterior of the bus. Explain to your customer what you are doing throughout the securement process. After boarding, position the mobility aid facing forward in the rectangle formed by the four anchor points on the floor. Ensure the brakes are applied, and if it's electric, ensure the mobility aid power is turned off, which will automatically engage the brakes. When securing a mobility aid, the securement straps should form an angle of 45 degrees to the floor for maximum stability. While 45 degrees is the optimal angle, a range between 30 to 60 degrees is considered acceptable. Slide the front retractor over the floor anchor point until it clicks into place. Give the retractor a shake to ensure it is securely attached. Pull the securement straps from each retractor and attach the J-hook to a solid part of the frame. Attach the rear retractors to the floor anchor point using the same procedure you used with the front retractors. Attach the J-hook to a solid part of the frame, keeping the securement strap at an approximate 45 degree angle to the floor. Once the mobility aid is securely in place, secure the customer with the seat belt and shoulder restraint system. Attach the two parts of the passenger seat belt, then hook the assembly to the rear retractor. Attach the shoulder harness to the seat belt. Ensure the attachments are secure. Pass the lap belt portion of the seat belt and shoulder harness assembly between the armrest and the chair back so that the shoulder belt is across the customer's body. Then, pass the seat belt across the pelvic area and under the arms of the mobility aid customer. Always place the lap belt buckle with the release button on the aisle side of the customer to allow you quick access in an emergency. Attach the assembled belt system to the other floor retractor. If necessary, you can adjust the belt for a smaller customer. Undo the Velcro and pull on the strap to adjust. Then, reattach the Velcro. The shoulder belt should be over the customer's shoulder in a smooth straight line without any slack in the belt. To prepare the customer for exiting the bus, remove the equipment in the reverse order. Detach the seat belt from the floor attachment. Move to the front of the mobility aid and remove the shoulder harness, ensuring the harness passes over the customer's head as it retracts. Remove the seat belt, coil it up, and stow it in its proper place in the bag. Remove the Q-straints in the reverse order in which you installed them and stow them on the underside of the flip-up seat. Before you lean over the customer to detach the last floor retractor, explain what you were about to do. Be careful not to invade the customer's personal space any more than necessary. Mobility aid service is a cooperative task. The level of assistance a customer requires varies with each individual. 
ask how you may best help your customer. Each time a Mobility Aid customer boards your bus, it is ultimately your responsibility to ensure they are properly and safely secured.